hello everyone welcome back to my channel and I just ran up a flight of stairs and I am tired let's get going so today we'll be doing my July TBR I got a few stack of books but not as much so let's get going my first book is Shanghai Immortals by A. Y. Zhao pawned by her mother to the king of hell as a child Lady Jing is half vampire half Hu Jing fox spirit and all star soul as the king's ward, she has spent the past 90 years running errands, dodging the taunts of the spiteful whole Jane Colliers, and trying to control her explosive temper with very levels of success. So when Jane overhears the courtiers plotting to steal a priceless dragon pearl from the king, she seizes her chances to expose them once and for all. So it's a long-awaited book, because I have been talking about this non-stop, and I finally got my hands on it, so I am hoping this will be a blast. Mine. So the next book is basically it's okay to start with this book because that's what the author said on her website and that is A Trial of Sorcerers by Elise Colbert. This is book one. 18 year old water runner Emma Landon lives her life in the shadows, the shadow of her older brother, of a magic whisperer, and of the person she accidentally killed. She's the most unwanted apprentice in the Tower of Sorcerers until the day she decides to step out and compete for a spot in a tournament of five kingdoms. Pitted against the best sorcerers in the Empire, Emma fights to be one of the four champions, excelling in the trials, hazards, and rewards. She's invited to the royal court with the Prince of the Tower, discovers her rare talent for forbidden magic, and at midnight, Emma meets with the handsome Elfin and Bastard. But Emma soon learns no reward is without risk. As she comes into the spotlight, so too the skeletons of her past she hadn't even realized was haunting her. Eva went into the trials ready for a fight, ready to win. She wasn't ready for what it would cost her. No one expected candidates might not make it out with their lives. So, this is the number one in the book, but yeah. So, we can start here. I believe she has other series. Uh, that, that is something, can't remember what the series is called right now, but we can start here, I hope. My next book is A Letter to the Luminous Deep by Sylvie Catherall. E is content with the solitary life in the extraordinary underwater home, until the discovery of a strange, beautiful creature outside her window prompts her to begin a correspondence with her renowned scholar Henry Clay. The letters this year are filled with passion and a first for the mutual interest and an invariably for each other. But when a mysterious sea queen destroys E's home, she and Henry vanish. A year later, E's sister Sophie and Henry, brother and Virin, must piece together the letters and sketches and field notes left behind and learn what the siblings' disappearances might mean for life as they know it. So it sounds really, really interesting. And I found a sticker behind the book. So that's exciting. And my next book is Of Jade and Dragons by Emma Shen. 18 year old Ayun Jin dreams of becoming a world class engineer like her father. But after his unexpected murder, a heartbroken Jin is determined to discover why anyone would turn a man or her untimely chose a quiet life over fame and fortune. Left with only a journal of her father's engineering secrets and a jade pen snatched from the assassin, Yang follows the trail to the capital and the prestigious Ingenious Guild, a place that harbors her father's hidden past. The cover is so pretty, it's so bold and vibrant. It's like popping in your face, like BAM! I love it. And actually, surprise, surprise, I actually want to pick up a horror this time. And then it's a step. A Step Past Darkness by Vera Kurian. Six classmates, one terrifying night, a murder 20 years in the making. In an idyllic suburban, suburban town of Wesley Falls, the summer of 1995 kicks off on a party in a local abandoned mine. There, six high school students witness a horrifying crime that changes the course of their lives. When they realize that they can't trust anyone but each other, they begin to investigate what happened to their own. As tensions in town escalate to a breaking point, the six make a vow of silence, bearing all the evidence and promise to never contact each other again. Their plan works. Almost. Twenty years later, they are called back to Wesley Falls after one of them has been murdered. Though they're the only ones who can uncover why, but to end things, they have to turn to the mind one last time. 
So that sounds really spooky and I like it. So those are all the books that I want to read for my July. I know I haven't, I normally read my horror thrillers for October, but since all the thrillers are coming out in the summer, why not? So yeah, but otherwise let me know what you're reading for July and please like, comment, and subscribe so you're not notified every time I post and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!